Welcome diecast collectors and heavy equipment enthusiasts. Thank you so much for joining me for an all new edition of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Norscott Towhaul Classic Lowboy trailer with Caterpillar 784C tractor. This is a 150th scale model that was commissioned for the Towhaul company out of Belgrade, Montana. A little bit about Towhaul before we begin the review. They are a leader in innovative and versatile off-road mining equipment such as large low boys. They have been building equipment for the mining community since 1977. And as I said just a minute ago, they are their world headquarters is in Belgrade, Montana. So this very large model, as you can see, we are zoomed all the way out with the wide angle lens, takes up the entire review area because this truck is designed to haul some of the world's largest earth moving and mining equipment. Taking a look at the box, you can see that it has the blue background that is pretty unusual for Norscott models. Normally Norscott models have the cat black and yellow. But what's really intriguing to me is if you look closely, you can see the trailer design and the truck design uh, of the tow haul in the back round of the box. We can see that this is an adult collectible warning choking hazard over here and top left, of course, 150th scale. Let's go ahead and turn the box around because it has a lot of cool information on the back of this box, such as a picture of the real tow haul trailer. Now note, as the caption denotes here at the bottom, this is actually a Cat 785 tractor, not the 784 that's in this set, but you can see it's pulling two, not one, but two D11 tractors. All right, this side, Towhaul Classic Lowboy trailer with Caterpillar 784C tractor, 1 to 50 scale. Lowboy version is the RGS-225-48-20, the 225 ton capacity, 48 foot long deck, 20 foot wide, tractor with front wheel steering, Clear windows with interior cab detail. Gooseneck connects, disconnects from low boy. Movable flaps on low boy for rear tire accessibility. Grab bar and handrail details. Tires that roll with authentic tread design. And operating hydraulic cylinders. Last piece of information on the box. We have a picture of Towhall's founder, Frank V. Smith. The first off-road mining lowboy manufacturer since 1977. There are over 100 Towhall lowboys operating in 17 countries around the globe. Okay, let's now begin the unboxing. The model is zip-tied to the bottom of the box by a series of three zip ties. But luckily, they're not too much of a hassle. You will have to tape one of the... Uh, size of the box. We'll have to cut one of the tapes to unbox it. Once you do that, you will then carefully pull out the plastic formers that hold the model to the box. Once again, that also has some tape work that needs to be carefully and surgically cut so that you don't damage anything. Pull the top portion down. The tractor is connected to the trailer in the packaging, so you don't need to worry about disconnecting them at this particular time. Lift straight out. Make sure you put your model down here for just a minute. Get the packaging out of the way. And here is our first proper look at the tow haul off-road low boy with the Caterpillar 784C tractor. Let's start the review by taking a look at the 784C cat tractor that pulls this large low boy trailer. This is a Norscott model that we've seen for a number of years. They also make a 785 version, of course, which has the dump truck and the mega water tanker on it. But this version, of course, hauls the low boy trailer. The front axle does steer and has a good range of steering in either direction, as you can see. The wheels are rubber. And inside the wheels, you can see that there is some lug nut detail inside. 784C decal here. On the front, you have your access stairs, which, of course, the operator would use to access the operator's seat in the cabin of the truck. Now, there are some details here that might not be readily uh, noticeable at first, and that is, of course, the swinging access stair here, which can be moved so that the operator can gain access to the catwalks, and also a swinging out mirror. 
So, of course, if this truck needs to be transported uh, or it needs to be stored in any particular place, you can narrow the length of the truck by pushing in the mirror on that side. The left side, this is where the driver would sit. Again, you have a small cat logo under here. Bolt detailing on the tires all throughout. Coming back to the tandems at the rear. This gives us a look at the tow haul gooseneck. Again, this is removable if you want to. And as you can see here, it is obviously removable from the trailer. You can see tow haul very crisply applied with some blue graphics. Uh, tow haul down here in the RGS-225, denoting what make of low boy this is. There's also some hydraulic connection points here to operate the gooseneck. And if you look very closely, there's also a small decal placard here in black. Looking at the back of the machine, and I will demonstrate this when we get into the functionality aspect and when we take a look at the set connected. Here are your hydraulic rams, which once again, this would operate the connection and how this connects to the trailer. But while this truck is facing you from the rear, you can see the tread pattern, which again is very realistic to that of its real world counterpart. From the top down, you can see yet more hydraulic lines that have been added in some rubber. Again, to give you the illusion that they are powering the gooseneck. That is the tractor. Let's now take a closer look at the tow haul trailer. Okay, so this is the 225 ton capacity low boy trailer. Uh, from Tow Hall. As you can see, it has their proven ramp design at the front. This is how you would load pieces of heavy equipment. You would simply drive them on from this point onto the uh, wood finish on your deck. To achieve the illusion of wood, you can see that some simulated wood finish has been added by plastic, but the look is good enough. And if you look close enough, you can actually see the wood grain on each of the wood boards. The Tow Hall logo is very, once again, crisply applied on both sides of the metal decking. And there's even a nice working feature on the trailer where you can flip up these beginning parts of the fender wells. And that is, of course, so that you can access the tires uh, on the rear axle. The metal handrails on both sides, again, for access to perhaps tying down your machine, also are to scale and look good. Your tread pattern on the wheels, once again, appropriate, and design inside the wheel hubs, once again, very realistic to that of its real-world counterpart. Looking at the back of the trailer, your mud flaps are in four pieces, two on each side, and they are flex flexible. And look at the part. You have your lights on the back and the tow haul logo right smack in the middle, along with a push bar and protection bar on your bumper. Looking underneath, you can see how the model is assembled, and it is important to note that this is a very hefty piece of die cast with a lot of metal being used. Okay, let's see how you would connect the trailer to the truck, and the way to do that is there are two little hooks right here and right here, and you slip those underneath this right here. Again, might be a little hard to do this uh, on camera and make sure that everything is on here. So what you do is you back your truck up, make sure your gooseneck goes into these two pieces, slide them under, and lift up. So they are in now. See how they're connected? Just like that. And then you want to make sure your hydraulic lines are hooked up. There's a small hole inside the deck, and you put your little hydraulic lines into that hole. Again, fiddly to do, but it makes a satisfying and realistic pose once you get it right. And right now, it's in the hole. Now, your truck and trailer are fully connected. So, what would a large low boy like this be if you didn't have some larger off-road equipment to haul around on top of it? So, I have three different examples of die-cast equipment that this type of machine would be hauling around on mine and quarry sites throughout the world. Let's start out with a CAT 988K wheel loader. Now again, your machines would be loaded from this direction, so if you're new to this kind of video or this kind of machine, the machines may look like they're going backwards, but that's typically how they would be loaded and secured onto this low boy. So that's what a 988K would look when loaded onto this trailer. Okay, let's go up in size just a little bit. How about a CAT 390F hydraulic excavator? Put him up here. And that's what a 390F excavator would look on this low boy. 
pretty convincing and impressive display pose. But perhaps the biggest beast of them all, how about a D11 cat track type tractor or bulldozer? As you saw in the back of the box with the blade and rippers removed, this low boy trailer is capable of hauling two of these tractors around at once. So that will conclude my review of the Norscott Tow Haul Classic Low Boy Trailer with Caterpillar 784C tractor in 150th scale. You can purchase this model now from the Tow Haul online store. The link will be down here in the video's description. If you are a fan of heavy equipment, mining equipment, or 150th scale die cast, this model is absolutely a no-brainer. Like I said before, it's been out since around 2008, so if you have not had a chance to add this to your collection, I can't recommend it enough. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care and be safe. I'll catch you in the next review.